down by B when yeah, I was five yeah. years old, and then it was the uh, Puerto Rican Day, um, January 5th, Three Kings Day. But you've been stung before. Twice, so this is about Yeah, time. they'll get you. It probably wasn't a full sting. No, 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 no. The bee landed on my arm. I said, Linda, don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move. Don't nah, move. it's not that bad. And then I overreacted. The I thought I thought maybe you, I thought the bee would you really cut your finger bad. The bee David went. Mamet style. I the thought bee. maybe you cut your finger pretty bad. All right. Well, I love you. Okay. Come here. I just worry about you. You make me worry. All right. You're gonna be okay. You can be anybody at all at any time. Anybody can abuse their power. Look. Anybody can abuse their power. Anybody can. Well, you fucking shut up and listen to me. Yeah, I'm listening. I was rushing myself to do the dishes because I'm by myself. If I had somebody else as a team member, then I'd be rushing myself and I want to cut myself on the fucking line. Right. Right? So I think that's kind of... Right. So that's something they're going to look at too. OSHA will look at all those things. They'll find out the right? exact reason. No, and no, what do no. they want to do? They want to the test belly. your blood and I... blame you. They want to blame you by testing your blood. Luckily, you well, got out I of there. Yeah, I was trying They're looking to do out for their own selves and they don't care about mm -hmm. their employees. Look, you dropped this right here. It's a waste of money. Yeah, that's bad. And they ran over the other one because they don't care either. Right? I'm here. Not All right. I'm not bad enough. But yeah, yeah, I think I'm right. I would call OSHA immediately and follow, at least file a report for your safety. Because okay, that way they. OSHA. Right, I'll show you exactly how to do it. You can do it online. I can do it right now? Yeah, I'll show you exactly how to do it right for you. This is not the right place. Okay? This is the wrong place. You need to stop making the wrong moves. Right? Stop being so politically correct. HR. No, you're trying to live up some kind of politically correct life that doesn't that doesn't exist. Screw my ass and screw my ass up in the asshole. Right. You need to not do that. Honey dudes care. They're a handyman service. You call 214-282-8705. A handyman that do care. Handyman that care. So OSHA is a real good company. My dad hates them, but OSHA is the way to go. OSHA is an occupational safety hazard. It's a division of the government that's there to protect you. If you pick up a knife at work and you'll say you cut yourself, First, call OSHA, okay? That means something's not right. Something's not going on. Now, the manager or the owner of the store is going to blame you. You call OSHA and you let OSHA figure it out. When I cut my finger on a ceiling fan, it was the company's fault because that ceiling fan was not right. It should not have cut me at the Chinese restaurant. I called OSHA and the next day, OSHA came in and investigated the situation. They measured the height from the floor to the top of where the ceiling fan was. And it was just about seven inches off, about seven and a half inches off or so. To the Republicans who will kill you, they'll kill you dead. To make their money, call OSHA. Don't be uh, well, don't even be politically correct about it. Just call OSHA. The Democrats and the Republicans are wrong. Okay? But especially the Republicans. Call OSHA. OSHA will help you. A lot of people that have money are abusing those that are, you know, weaker, right? The Republicans will abuse their power to make sure that you suffer. The Democrats will will get real legalistic, okay? They're not so good either, right? Jesus is ashamed of the Republicans. And Jesus is ashamed of the Democrats for killing babies and abusing their power there, right? For Because abortion's all messed up. Because they haven't outlawed abortion. The Republicans love that, but they're like, well, why doesn't he hate us? 
I hate the Republicans because they're, they're hogs. They stick it in their mouth. They take the whole burrito and they stick it in their mouth and they just want to chew it up and smile and watch other people starve nearly to death. The Republicans will starve you. You didn't get yourself to say, you didn't get it yourself, right? You didn't pay for it, show that man down with a woman, right? God loves me. He doesn't love the Republicans. God loves me. He doesn't love the Democrats because they've turned their life over to Satan, right? So if you follow Jesus, do what's right and stop abusing people. If you leave a sharp knife out at work and that knife cuts your employee, pay your employee what you cut them with. That means give them money. You cut one of my subjects or my subjects of a wonderful documentary about abuse of power. Pay her. OSHA is going to be on your trail. They're going to be watching every move you make, Sprouts. Because someone else just now cut themselves at work at Sprouts. Right? They're not doing anything because all the Republicans go in there and give them a bunch of money. Right? You come into my house, you're going to hear this. <coughs> yeah, you can see it for a second. A millisecond. The Democrats don't mind. Republicans are pissed off and they want to see the vulture up close. That's because they're the vultures, right? They're not the, the Republicans are not the uh, elephants anymore because they spy, right? And they abuse their power. They take advantage of people. Democrats, same thing. They're both wrong. They're dead wrong. They are dead wrong. Now we do need to save the environment. One, two, and three. It's called a third party of libertarian, maybe, or something like that. People that feel that you have the right to exist and create art all day long. Right? Republican, big hurry. Got a Silverado. Lots of gas. I'm going to burn them all and kill them all. I'm a Republican. I'm not. My Democrat, eh, they're wrong too. Right? They're all screwed up. Everybody's kicking in doors to the White House. Or no, it's, it's Capitol, the Capitol, right? They haven't kicked in the doors of the White House yet. Biden's going, what? It's the Capitol they kicked in the doors. They were still both wrong, right? Because lady got killed. Someone got shot trying to climb through a window. Some crazy guy shot her and now they're covering up that information so that that person doesn't have to be faced trial. That's because the Republicans and Democrats are both wrong. He's, he, uses the term, he uses the term have not because he's a fat ass. He's not going to have not. He's going to stick it in his mouth. He's going to have it, right? The have nots will burn in hell. You know what? So will the haves. The haves and the have nots are going to burn in hell. He'll have not because he's on a diet. Little fat butt. So we got a green light. We green lighted the project. Just want to look at these clouds right here. And racetrack is a really good place to get hot dogs too. We're not gonna get hot dogs today. We're gonna get something else. I'm gonna make sure to kind of vlog that. But we are gonna get one of my favorite drinks at racetrack. And I might kind of snoop around for a snack. So we're gonna see if we're gonna find an affordable uh, snack. And then we're gonna look for a pretty good drink. And then we're gonna hit another spot, which is gonna be one of my favorite uh, I'm, I'm, I'm saving this. I'm saving this. So I'm not going to tell you this spot. I'm going to let you know when we get there. But right now we're going to do racetrack. And we're just going to get a snack. A little snack. A little drink. Hmm, I'm going to look at the guitar players here today. Maybe I'll come back later. Somewhat cool, but pretty good. Sure, it's pretty cold, yeah. 
So I went with the Munchies. It's flaming hot. It's a pretty good nut. Now, I'm gonna couple it with this right here. Double advertisement, right? We got the Arizona tea, and they're fighting. I mean, they want it all. And they got every right. Got the energy drink, and we got the munchies. Just like that. Now, how did I do that? Because I went to theater school. I'm a jack of all the trades. And we're the only ones that can do that kind of stuff in a split second. Other people, they'd be dead real quick. But that's what it is. It's flaming munchies, hot, uh, hot, flaming hot munchies, peanuts. And you got yourself some Arizona right there. Now, we're going to continue with the opening and the vlogging of it going into my mouth. Not bad. Then we're going to pull this one right here. They've got a lot of vlogs coming and a lot of people keep on coming. Take a couple of these little nuts right here. We're gonna move it just like this. We're making the turn right here. Do not try this at home, kids. And we're gonna pop it in our mouth. Hmm. Not bad. Hmm. Right? I'm gonna talk to you. And I'm going to eat some nuts and drink some energy. Linda, a horrible alcoholic, I need your help. Now, I have provided you proof. You're gonna see who's on the homicide board, right? I'm not perfect myself. A lot of people have problems. But she needs a lot of money so that we can get her into rehab. And I'd ask for your help because it's not good to be an alcoholic. It's not good to be an alcoholic. This is tea. It's energy tea from Arizona. But you don't want to be an alcoholic. You want to go to rehab. She needs rehab and that costs a lot of money. You guys are gonna help her out. Put money in my PayPal. It's PayPal slash, or PayPal me slash Colt Spivey. We'll use that money to get her in rehab as quick as possible. So it's paypal.me slash Cole Spivey. And we can continue all these adventures, all these wonderful adventures I go on. I'm, I'm an adventure vlogger. It's all adventures, all, all day long. It's better than Six Flags, like my dad would say. All of this is better than Six Flags, by sure, by sure, 100%. We have lots of fun all the time. But we wanna get her in rehab so we can get her clean. She's gonna have some babies with her. Want to start a family. I'm gonna vlog the whole thing, all the way to the Oscars. I'm even gonna vlog whenever they, they say Cole Spivey, winner of whatever they, they give me for. Hopefully for acting, writing, directing, the whole nine yards. David Lynch may present it. He's still around. We'll see. Because, you know, he's seeing the other side of the coin. Maybe Godard will be there. He's still around, too. I don't know. Maybe other people will. Oh, maybe Matt Damon will do it. I am annoying you. La, 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 la. You got it. You caught me. You're right. To annoy. That's our sole purpose. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. blah. I'm driving around. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, they Republicans suck. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, no, 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 blah, 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 get a hot dog out of the way, get a hot dog, yeah, yeah, get that hot dog, 
Get that hot dog. Yeah, come on, copperback. Get some hot dog and some get some nuts. Yeah. Get some nuts and hot dog and a drink. Woo! Come on, let's go ride some rides. Let's get on the ride. Come on, we're gonna get on the ride. Come on. Come on, here we go. Here we go. Come on, come on. I'm gonna know all of you. Come on. Come on, we're going, we're going, we got, <laughs> we got, we got some munchies going on. We got some drink, we're going on. All right. Come on, come on. Come on, come and give me. You'll never give me, coppers. You'll never give me. Ha ha ha. Yeah, come on. Let's go, come on. Look at that annoying guy. We got another light going on. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. He saw it, he's on it. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on. Here we go, we're off. Let's all kick some ass. He's going, he's going full on. He's going full on. Look at that motherfucker. He's going full on. Let's get it. Better than Six Flags. The Mexican. Look at that Mexican. Right there in a day working truck. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Let's get it. Let's get it. Come on. Move. Come on. Okay. Before he can block it. One of the two. He's taking his time. He's moving. So that means he's on the show. Right? Because he knows about the show. They both do. This right here is a lawnmower. Right? I've been looking at different lawnmowers for my werewolf movie. The script I'm writing. That is a wall. Uh, uh, I can't tell the exact uh, type of lawnmower it is. But it looks like a good one. And they got it going on a U-Haul. It makes it easier. You don't have to stuff it in the trunk right here. You just use the U-Haul and you put the lawnmower right back there and you're good to go. Now let's listen to it. This is what it sounds like when the windows roll down. Right? This guy's not playing around right here. He's like, I'm not on your show, buddy. I'm not on your show. And he's got on my show. Well, anyway, we got a lot of it. We got a, a, a real good amount See of it. See how he didn't want to get in the shot? Look what happened to him, right? All of a sudden, I pulled ahead a little bit. That's what it's all about. And because I got my energy, right, for jogging and driving. Anyway, it looked like a really good lawnmower. I may go with the $5,000 riding lawnmower from Lowe's or maybe Home Depot. I'll have to talk to the producers. Got to talk to Bradley Cooper's people. See if he wants to do the werewolf movie while he's doing Atlantic and jumping out of airplanes. Pretending like he's Leonard Bernstein. Or is it Leonard Bernstein then the Atlantic? Regardless, that's Hollywood. That's old school. That's the old Jewish law. Hollywood. It's old Jewish law. This is the new covenant. Right? This is like Zoom. Right there. The new covenant. Of filmmaking, media. It's high entertainment. Lots of dancing. Fingers jumping around like this, right? Right? So we're going to, yep, right there, right? Jumping around, dancing, dancing like this right here while I'm driving, kind of moving the, the steering wheel this way. We've got a cat that comes out of nowhere right here, Meow. right? High entertainment. Really, really high. Meow. And that window stays dirty. When they throw things at me, I keep it on my car for a while. Right? As a reminder that these guys need to behave. It's a lot of traffic. It's a cleaner window right here. Very clean. Very clean. Very nice. That's Lynch. Talk, he talks to me telepathically. David Lynch has directed this whole thing telepathically. Because he always wanted to do a, a documentary. He told me. He said, everything's scripted. I said, no. No, it's right there. The Spiritus Mundi is alive in my hand and this hand too. And it takes over immediately. It's immediate. Don't worry about meditating or anything. Just throw all that away. That's a big, long thing. Meditate later for fun. This is serious improv. You can meditate, you know, every once in a while, but it's not all one thing. It's not all meditation and script writing. Sometimes it's just right there and it just appears. Right, kitty? Meow. 